Welcome back, troglodytes, to the Trogly's Guitar Show. I've always been curious, does it really matter what your pick is made of? So I've got three picks here. Your standard plastic one, a metal one, which is a quarter from 1971, and one of those Thalia wooden picks. So let's go ahead and see if there's actually a noticeable difference on an electric guitar. All right, so the acoustic test results. Obviously not a lot of people record an electric guitar being played acoustically, but hey, I figured I would do this portion anyways. I didn't hear a lot of difference. There is a very, very tiny difference, especially if you listen at the very end where I blend all three of them together. <laughs> You can see the wooden pick is just a little bit warmer in tone, however that could just be down to how I was holding it. And that's something that makes this test very hard to do. So let's go ahead and plug this telly into my Mesa Boogie on the clean channel. <laughs> Alright, so the clean test. I personally thought there would be a larger difference than there was, but there is one if you listen close enough. During my normal playing segment, I noticed that the quarter sounded a lot louder. Now once again, you can't really judge how loud it is because that doesn't really necessarily tell us that it makes a difference in your tone because the quarter, obviously it's heavier than all the other picks, so it's naturally gonna be louder in a lot of situations. Now I noticed when I started playing softly that you can start to hear the quarter kind of slink against the strings and it kind of makes a metal sound. <laughs> That might not be as desirable for most people, but I noticed the wooden pick once again gives you a slightly warmer tone, which is interesting. But I was really surprised when it came to the hard strumming. The quarter pick was definitely more percussive, but yet it sounded more dead to me. I didn't really like it. <laughs> In this category, I actually preferred the plastic pick because I felt the wooden pick kind of lost its warm characteristics in this category. So let's go ahead and see if there's a huge difference with a distorted tone. <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright, and now we've heard it distorted. Again, you have the same type of theme going on where the wooden pick sounds just a little bit warmer and the metal pick has a little bit more of a percussive attack. But where the differences really came into play was the soft strum part. That's where you could really hear the difference between these three picks. Now when I was really hammering the strings, there wasn't as big of a difference as I was expecting there to be. Is there one? Definitely. But is there enough of a difference that you should pay such a premium for wooden picks or a metal pick versus your nylon or plastic pick? Eh, not really. Not in my opinion. So in conclusion, if you need just a little bit more bite and attack, go for a metal pick. This is a quarter pick I bought off of eBay a long time ago. I'll put a link in the description though. I'm sure there's still some out there that you could purchase. And I'll also do that for the Thalia pick. Personally, I'll probably just stick with my plastic picks, even though I think I prefer the wooden pick tone on most things. However, another pro to the metal pick is it does help give you more aggressive attack. Now a lot of that probably has to do just because it's a little bit of a heavier pick simply because of the material it's made out of. I really tried to get these three picks to be the same thickness. We're running at about 0.9 thickness for each of the three picks. The quarter's a little bit thicker than that though. One final topic to think of when choosing between these three picks is durability and what it can do to your guitar. Everybody uses these little plastic picks, and it's for a reason. They're really cheap to buy. You can get like 20 of these things for five bucks, sometimes even cheaper. Get them for free at Guitar Center for all I care. These only leave minimal scratches on your guitar's pick guard or their body. Whereas this metal pick, you're gonna do some serious damage over time if this ever comes in contact with your finish going at full force. So if you care about the cosmetics of your guitar, you probably don't want to use a quarter pick or a metal pick of any kind. I would imagine that this would be rougher on your strings and would cause them to wear out earlier as well. The wooden Thalia pick, I like these picks, but I find that they snap really easily. I mean, you can see this one has already broken just by the pressure of my fingers. Thalia has two different versions. They have the thinner pick that's two layers of wood compressed together, and then they have a three layer one. But by that point, they're so thick, you can't really use them for electric guitar, but I'm pretty sure these are more so meant for acoustic guitar anyways. So the metal one is definitely the most durable, followed by the plastic one, as long as you don't have a super thin one. I love my thin little picks, but they always break on me. My personal favorite picks are actually these Snarling Dogs Brain Picks at a 0.6 gauge. I don't know, these are just what I've been using since I first started and I just like the feel of them. So I hope you troglodytes enjoyed this video. Maybe we learned something that would help you in the recording studio or it at least cured your curious mind. Thank you troglodytes for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.